What up, y'all? This is Kenneth Barry here. Another episode of Touchdowns and Tangents. Got myself, Pete Camarillo. What's good? What's good? Shout out to Courtside, man. Got to give myself a self plug, but, you know, they called me out as a Clipper fan, so I had to step up to the plate, talk some shit, have a little candid arguments. So make sure you listen to it. Good news radio station and app. Yep. And. We'll take calls later, but just know the number to call in is 323-900-0478. And speaking of getting on people's heads, um, they were kind enough to not mention the fact that you look like you're literally about to get chipped out um, because you got a military haircut. I don't know who your barber is. I I told you there are black barbers available. Like, I'm pretty sure this was, like, discussed, like, one of the first episodes that we got on the Good News Radio. I don't know if you wrote down that barber's name, that barber shop, but I'm going to need you to start going to black barbers. Honestly, like your hairline deserves better. You look like Sam the Falcon from the Muppet. So my hairline, so my hairline looks like your intro. You, you didn't know what to set up, so you just went out a a, a petty petty um No. shit talking for me. I feel it. No, no, I'm just continuing the energy of the fact that they were roasting the shit out of each other. <laughs> they really were. That was hilarious. And you were the conduit for said roasting, you know. And the Clippers, they suck. But anyway, yeah, man. Can I touchdowns and tangents real quick? I just want to say, if you never listened to this podcast slash broadcast experience, you can expect one half topical tangents for the culture, and the other half. NFL takes that are touchdowns. So, and if you listen close enough, you can hear Pete having unnecessary pregnant pauses. But they they actually work. Like that, it it works for some reason. And there's like a certain amount of tension in the room that it's just it feels. I right. feel like KB's mad at me, and he's just taking it out with these petty sub disses right now. But it's all good, man. I mean, we, no, no, <laughs> it's no, all no. good. It's all good, I, man. Maybe we, we maybe. haven't made it to 78 episodes for for no good reason. That's technically we've done over a hundred, but really just under the moniker of Touchdowns and Seventy Eight. I'm proud of that. Yeah, man, me too. So definitely every show we try to get better. Last week was an amazing episode. Very emotional. Really very opening. And really a accumulation of everything we're interested and passionate about. So it was a great show. Um shout out to a big topic last week was really hip hop and XXX Tenacion. Um, his sad video dropped, and man, it's really fucking dark and moving and powerful. It's crazy. I wish I could just do a dissertation on that video alone because the imagery is like so powerful. I don't know if you caught it yet, but definitely yeah. catch it. I couldn't like bring myself to watch it yet. It's like dude just died. Bro, the it's, whole video concept not, is essentially him killing the the old version of himself. Like is that the, the one where he like hangs a white kid? Or no, no, no. That, that was look at me. But okay, he's yeah, basically okay. hanging the look at me, XXX on the half bleach hair, half black hair. Yeah. The infamous mugshot. He's basically killing him to kind of set up this a rebirth, whole a a rebirth. But through the whole process of the video, he's basically talking to this other entity, which I'm pretty sure is a demon, his inner demon or inner darkness or... Something or another personality, something. But Probably he's, inner demons. he's basically talking to this other thing that it's, it's crazy. Just go watch it. But yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on that. I just want to shout like that I, out I've as a follow up. A, I've had it like a depressing month already, so I'm kind of. That's why you should watch it because, it, like, you should really watch it. That's why. That's why for me it was like I need to put all that the bullshit in the past, and I need to just kill it and start over and be the the person I want to be moving forward. I feel that. I feel that. Instead of being what people say I am because of what I've done in the past. And what I've been through. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Because I still have life, not like X who's dead and can't finish that mission that he was doing. Yeah. Uh, like I think I said it at the end of the episode. It's kind of like you have to be the change that you don't see. And honestly, that transition is hard. Like, So for anyone out there who really is trying to reinvent yourself... You can't do it in a day, but ultimately it won't really change until you internally change, until you're ready to change and forgive yourself and forgive others. 
which is hard to do. But yeah, man. Uh, anyway. Enough of this all positivity shit. Let's get to the football news. That shit felt pretty sappy and depressing. But Already. Usually we say that to the end. Yes. But before we do all that, why don't you go ahead and tell people what this podcast is like. This podcast is like you're at a pool party. Everybody's chilling. There's that one person who decides to run out for whatever reason, slides, bust their ass right on the concrete right <laughs> before they hit the pool. He that that person doesn't like cry. That's the crazy part. That person gets up like didn't shit happen. But then the person next to them spills their ice cream and starts crying like a little bitch, and everyone goes, "Oh, are you okay?" And the and the person who fell and damn near broke their body is like. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what this podcast is like. I got one for you. And you're the kid, you're the person in the corner who saw all of it happen. That's what this podcast is like. I got one for you. Man. Shout out to my poll earlier this week. I ran a poll. What is the most underrated Gatorade flavor family? It was overrated. No, it was underrated. Damn, I picked the wrong one, man. Well, I hope you weren't the only one because Frost won, and I was really surprised because <laughs> that was my trash. pick. That was my pick. That's what I was going to say. This podcast is like Gatorade Frost. You don't really appreciate it until you're dying of dehydration and lost, and then you listen to it, and it's like the best thing you've ever had. And you're like, wow, why don't I appreciate Gatorade Frost? So, yeah. Don't wait for heat exhaustion to appreciate this podcast, and definitely don't wait till we die. And yeah, like, make sure you like and subscribe and share and all that shit. Especially on touchdowns iTunes. and tangents, you know what it is. Especially live from the good news. Especially on iTunes, please, and whatever Spotify puts us on. A shout out to the X Squad affiliates, man. New collaboration. Shout out to them. Check out their shows as well. But yeah, so KB, go ahead. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, this isn't. Something that is kind of like uh, shits and giggles. It's not really um, entertaining. But unfortunately, Jameis, Win- Jameis Winston, the latest update, turns out he pretty much uh, he assaulted that female Uber driver, according to multiple accounts, and the fact that he apologized. And it just it gave me that same vibe when I found, like, when all the allegations about Cosby came out, like a lot of stuff just came rushing back. And I was like, really, man? Like I wanted to believe in you. Um, and you really did believe him. You really did believe him. You really Florida state. Like I was like, man, he got a bad rap. Like everybody's, well, n- we're head. not even talking about the whole Florida State cover up and all of that. Just being a black BS. quarterback is But he hard got enough. a second chance, bro. Like He did. He, he got a second chance. You stole he, from a Publix, bro. Even after all Crab the legs. all the 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 the, the, the immaturity criminal stuff and the immaturity stuff, he still got a second chance and he was relatively good since then. Got married, had a kid, but having a this kid whole or- incident where he pretty much said Nah, nothing to see here. I was with my teammates, and I said this on one of the uh, the. I, I think I said it on barbershop talk, but um, when I was in the chat, so shout out to them. But yeah, pretty much he was like nothing to see here. I was with my teammates. This girl got confused just being around all these black men. Then it comes out, nah, man, this was a solo Uber ride you took after the fact. That's what uh, uh I think Brandon Bay, the guy. He's one of the guys who is facing, I think, like 20 years in prison for his part in a rape scandal at Vanderbilt because Vanderbilt had a huge um, rape scandal situation. And he's the one who said that Jameis was in the car by himself. He also yeah. said that, like, Ron, I guess he, what he said is different from what Ronald Darby said. Ronald Darby was like, no, we were all in the Uber together. He didn't do anything. Banks was like, no, that was when we first got there. He got so drunk and like messed up that we just put him in the in the Uber and we didn't see what happened to him after that. And it's like, and I, from what I understand, it's already been. That's that's the weird thing though is because I think there's already been a criminal investigation on this. So I don't know if he's gonna face any charges. And then also, he's banned from Uber. Yeah, he's banned from Uber. So. He's not catching Uber. He's definitely a team lift. 
He should probably be team hands to your goddamn self. For real. For the rest of your life. You got a kid coming, and it's like, you're a black man in America. It's already, you're a black quarterback, first off. Like, honestly, uh, Mo Kelly. Oh, hey, no. shout out to Bob Garcia. He said, don't sleep on Glacier Freeze for you, uh, saying Frost the purple is trash. One? The pur- is that the purple one? I think that's the blue one. Okay, I won't sleep on the blue no, one. No, I think that is the purple one. The purple though. one, I will give some respect and some credence to. Because when it's cold, oh, my God. It's amazing. It's when it's cold. It's it's just. Yeah, shout out to Bob, man, friend of the show. Love him. We should honestly kind of start getting like advertisements because we need to stop plugging. Uh, whatever. Anyway, when it comes to when it comes to uh, Jameis, <laughs> oh, man. don't ever make that face again. I was just shocked. I was like, yeah. damn. Um, when it comes to Jameis. What he went through, the stigma of being a black quarterback is hard enough when they think you're not intelligent enough to be do what you're supposed to do, be a leader on the field. When you do dumb shit like this, like he he's used up any goodwill he ever had across period. platforms, across every possible Both in the NFL and society and anything. his teammates, like like dog, all the above, like dog. If you like cut no sympathy. Like, if you don't open the door for somebody, I'm assuming you're being an asshole. Like, that's how bad it's got. Like, he has to, everywhere he goes now, he just has to literally be the most humblest person ever because he has managed to shit and fall back in it several times. And that's, that's just, it's disappointing. Because, like, Omar Kelly said it um, I think a couple weeks ago. He said it, like, on um, um, Brent Grimes, like, on Miko Grimes. You said it on her podcast that a guy like Tyrod Taylor does everything right, never gets in trouble, uh, led the Bills to the playoffs, and they were still trying to bench him, had 51 touchdowns and only 18 picks since he's been a starter, like almost 65% completion percentage, and he gets treated like crap compared to some of his other quarterback contemporaries. They tried to say Peterman was going to be the future just to get him out of there. And he almost like he was pretty much by himself in that playoff game against the Jaguars. And a guy like him, Omar Kelly also said, if he was white, he'd probably be getting sixty million dollars right now, like a Sam Bradford, or somebody else. But instead, being a black quarterback and that stigma, you have to toe the line, and it's almost impossible to ever be perfect. And you hear you have Jameis' dumbass uh, being famous for all the wrong reasons, which poses the question: Do you think he's lost the respect of the locker room? I don't think he's lost respect in the locker room only because he's a gamer, right? Jameis has always been a gamer. He's I'm always so tired of that line. I mean, it's true though. I, I when I think of gamer, I think of Jameis Winston because he's a competitor. He wants to win. Like he's pretty much won outside of Tampa. Everywhere he's gone. So, I think he still has respect, but I don't know, man. That big contract is coming up soon, so. Wherever he goes is probably probably going to pay him a lot of money. And so that is going to be a different element because it's not going to be, oh, you're the homegrown talent who came up here and earned this money. Nah, you're a cast-off quarterback we gave a one-off fat contract to. Who was the f- number one overall pick in the draft. Yeah, so. And I got a couple more questions, but do you think he should be cut? I know Damian Woody went in on him. I don't think like, he should be cut only because – this is something from two years ago, right? And over the past two seasons, er, the reviews have been pretty good on him, just as far as, like you said, growing up. And the team is ascending, even though they had nobody in the top 100, which doesn't make no damn sense. We're going to get to that Gerald McCoy might be the most disrespected player of all time. And Mike Evans. And Mike Evans is definitely trending that way. But, yeah, we'll get to that later. Brent Grimes, too, if we're going to be honest. Fuck Brent Grimes. Bro, he, he puts in work. Everywhere he's ever gone. Let's just start beef with Miko Grimes so we can go viral. No, I don't want to do that because she's cool and she's from L.A. <laughs> and I will watch her beat. I will watch her beat your ass and do nothing. Yeah, man, but I don't think he should get cut. I don't think that's that's fair. I think the weird thing is, though, right, because I read a tweet from somewhere. I can't remember off the top of my head. 